Elizabeth, one of these videos is of an Israeli student being kidnapped. We see it happen. Well, and, and Nicole, I think what, what a world that we're living in, right? So many of us can attest that we probably haven't stopped looking at our phones since Saturday. Uh, you know, it's almost as if we can't look away. We're seeing the brutality in real time. Uh, um, we're seeing firsthand accounts in real time. They're displayed on multiple social media accounts. And if you can think about some of these families who have loved ones, that they're almost fighting a two-front war. Not only are they missing their loved ones, but they're also um, really faced with a world of disinformation. Do they believe what they see on social media? Can they make assumptions on what they're seeing on social media? So we actually, just about an hour ago, spoke with uh, two former soldiers. One of them was a combat soldier. One of them was a member of the Navy. They are in Tel Aviv, and they're doing their best, the, the best they can because they can't fight on the front lines. They created a website called um, Swords of Steel. It's Yuval Keshner, and it is Stav Charkum. Um, that was the former Navy. The, the combat soldier is Yuval. And they said that they're creating this database as a safe space for those who are desperately trying to get in touch with their loved ones. Um, and and in fact, on Saturday, the database was created. Overnight into Sunday morning, it had actually crashed because there was a flood of thousands of inquiries. He did want to make the distinction that some of them were duplicates. They are weeding through the inquiries, working with humanitarian groups, working with government officials. Uh, this is what he said when we spoke with him earlier. So I never signed for that, for doing something like that. But with that being said, uh, um, I have friends that going to reserve. I have friends that lost their brothers and sisters. I have friends that lost, that their babies were kidnapped to Gaza Strip. Their parents were kidnapped to Gaza Strip. Old people that were kidnapped, kids that were kidnapped and now being raped and now being, uh, who knows, we need to do everything we can in order to bring these people to these families and also help these families right now that lost their loved ones and who knows. So you can hear it in his voice, you know, the camaraderie, everyone is doing everything they can. Here's the example of that 25-year-old Noah Argamani. We talked about her. He said there was a lot of interest, um, especially with folks who were at that uh, peaceful music festival that was the majority initially of the inquiries. You could see her father there pleading for his help. We're seeing the video of Yoni Asher uh, begging for his family. He also saw on social media his mother-in-law with a flag draped over her head there. That was his wife, his three, uh, three and five-year-old daughter. He said there in his video, which he's posting on social media again, saying, you know, take me, I'll be in exchange for my family. We've seen uh, Holocaust survivors and people say my grandparents were Taken. They, they can't live without their medicine. All of these examples, and Nicole, so often we see it put on social media, trying to find connectivity. Um, I asked Yuval how he felt when he did make the connection, and if he had made the connection of someone who was missing, and then he was able to find out um, if they were deceased. And he did say it is not his job to notify next of kin, that he is in talks with humanitarian groups, and he is in talks with uh, government officials, uh, but he said, this isn't about me. This is not about me, but it's also not about me telling the family if he does make that notification that he does hand it off, but he is doing everything he can. This is his way of fighting in what he says is now an all-out war. Yeah, Nicole, just back heartbreaking to you. situation. All right, Elizabeth, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.